We like cranes. We like heavy haulage. So let's mix the two and have some heavy haulage, which has a crane. As you can see from the box, this is a WSI model. And to give it its full title, it is a Scania R normal CR20N 8x2 rigid flatbed truck with a Fassi 1100 plus jib. Even then, we're actually not finished because it's a limited edition model in the colours of Erling Andersen. And this company is based in Denmark. The packaging is in the usual style for a WSI model. And first up, we have a small leaflet that we'll look at shortly. To set the model free, we need to do a bit of knife work. And we carefully cut the tape that seals the lid to the container. Once it's opened up, we can pull out the parts of the model and that consists of the truck. Then we have a bag of small parts and there's an additional fly jib. Out of the box, there was a tiny bit of shipping damage and the indicator lights for the fassy crane had separated. So it's a quick job for our old friend, Sue Perglue. And here we see the part carefully glued back on. Included is this fold out sheet which covers the fassy crane. And it begins by covering the outriggers and then goes on to extending the main boom. That's the crane in its basic configuration. And when we flip the sheet over, it covers how to fit the optional fly jib. Also covered is a ballast box, but that doesn't apply to this model. There's no assembly to do because it's complete out of the box. Starting underneath the truck, and it's a typically detailed WSI model. The engine and steering mechanism is modelled, and there's a big drive shaft, and there's more detailing of the rear axles. At the back, there's the outrigger box, and tanks are visible too. There are different tyres on the steered and driven axles. One of the big plus points of this model is the high quality decoration. There's a light bar and graphics on the roof, and there are more graphics both on the visor and on the windscreen. There are more excellent graphics on the grille at the front. And there's also a large extra box which is for an outrigger. Although on the model the outrigger is non-functional. Continuing on to the sides of the cab and there are excellent Scania graphics. And there's also a small graphic on the door mirrors. As you can see the quality of the printing of the graphics is extremely high. There are other pleasing details including Scania on the forward mudflap. There are more graphics between the wheels, and the wheels themselves are in two-tone colours which look great. This high quality continues along the sides down below the flatbed. And the two different wheel types have the excellent finish. At the back is the rear outrigger, and the only negative point is that you can't fully retract the piston. Moving to the back of the truck, and the lights are nicely detailed, and there's a number plate. And again, the graphics reflect the detail of the real truck. The flatbed itself is metal with replica plastic timbers. The Fassi loader crane is also highly detailed. Large twin rams lift the main boom, and the Fassi name is printed on. Also modelled but non-functional on the model is a winch drum. The boom sections are finely detailed with individual pistons all shown. And at the end there's a small metal hook. Looking underneath and the driven axle spins freely and there is a complex linked steering mechanism. It does work and the rear axle turns with the front axles but in reality it's more representative than effective because the achievable steering angle is very small. Out onto the cranes etc super highway and the truck rolls along reasonably well in a straight line but it's not really free rolling. As we've already seen, we can't expect too much from the steering, but in fact it performs a little above expectations. You can try and tilt the cap, but don't try too hard, because the outrigger box at the front prevents it tilting. Included with the model are parts which give us some options, and the first we'll show is the container locks. You can insert four of them, and then add on a standard 20 foot container, and that gives you a nice display option for the model. Another option you have is to fit circular deck posts. These are metal and there are plenty of holes you can stick them in. And if you make a little effort to straighten them up, they look good. So with this option, we'll now add a different type of load and we'll put on a scissor lift. So that gives us something different to look at. 
But the other main feature of the model is the big fatty crane. And just like any other crane, we'll start by pulling out the outriggers. They have screw down pistons, but not with much extension. So they won't support the model wheels free. At the front, there is a different type of outrigger beam, which is the folding variety. So we turn the leg down, pull it out, and then again unscrew the piston. You locate the piston into the separately provided pads. And also included with the model are a set of four small spreader plates. With the outriggers out, it's time to get the big fatty crane working. You have to carefully unfold it from the transport position. And as you do so, make sure you don't pull on any delicate parts. Initially, the rams have got quite a bit of stiffness, but rotating the crane is very easy. And pulling out the individual telescopic sections of the boom is easy also. At least, it's easy as long as you've got some fingernails to put in the thin gaps between telescopic sections. Let's count the sections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And it's a great achievement to model all of those in 1 to 50 scale. But wait, there's more if you want it because you can add the optional fly jib. And to do that, we unhook the piston of the last boom section and slide it out. And then replace it using the fly jib section. The piston gets hooked back into the boom head and then the job is done. You now have the fly jib fitted and you can alter its angle. And of course, it is also telescopic with a number of additional sections. This is a beautiful looking limited edition by WSI Models. The quality of the paintwork and the graphics is great. And the model engineering of the Fassi Crane is also really good. The model is flexible and can be posed in many different ways. And overall it's nice enough to be rated as excellent. Mm -hmm.